Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Monmouth Park here on Sunday. It is the 26th of May, 2024. Go look at the seventh race from Monmouth. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean around the world. Let's look at the seven from Monmouth, which is the Miss Liberty Stakes. It's going for a purse of $100,000. Race for Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and upwards. Field of eight horses going 1,700 meters or a mile 16th on the Monmouth Trail. Of course, I'm gonna take the three five, the three horse here. Not in a million years. I'm gonna go three five seven four in the superfecta. Three five seven four super top selection of three horse. Not in a million years. Um, this four year old by no nay never here. Chad Brown trains one for Peter Brandt. Vincent Shimonad gets the mounts. The horse's most recent out came in a lounge race at Keelan, a mile and the eighth on the 14th of April. And he put a second by a neck that day. He had a very, very wide trip throughout that day, wide around both turns, which probably cost him, but he gained. Gained a lot of ground that day, basically almost last top of the lane. He slowly got to the front end. He just missed late. Raced his mile 316. He would have won by open legs, but he ran his heart out. Coming to a next logical step, the stakes quality horse is not the world's deepest stakes race. I think he could find the trip to win. Two back in the lounge race for 90,000 on Aqueduct, mile and eighth on the second on the 12th of November. He finished second by a nose that day. You know, he stalked all the way around the race courses a little bit wide. He had the lead. He got caught in the stretch, but he ran his heart out that he gamed it out to the wire. Um, not a bad race in defeat. And then a main special way to Aqueduct mile on the 12th of October. He won by one quarter lengths that day. He didn't get out of the gate so clearly, but he sat back early. He slowly moved his way into the race. They were flying on the front end. Or, don't, excuse me, not flying on the front end. That was the um, race afterwards. They were walking on the front end. Uh, but he, he really gained a lot of ground late after um, after all of a sudden. And I thought that was a very good effort. Training on the train track at Belmont. Like I said, next logical step to the stakes race. Not the world's deepest race. I think you can find a trip to win. I think the five horse Alpha Bella for Tom Pletcher and Paco Lopez is your second likeliest winner. Um, you know, it hasn't been seen since La Poviante with a mile and a half at Goldstream on Pegasus Day, where the horse swung by three quarters length. Walking on the front end, this horse had a lot left in the tank to get the job done. I thought that was a very good performance being R. Kelly Kim, who was the next start winner in the, um, I believe in the, um, uh, the Mac Durbin, or the, the very one after that. But this horse, he ran our heart out first time, older horses. Prior to them, the Tropical Park Oaks at Goldstream, mile 16th in December. She finished third by a half a length that day. I thought she wanted more ground, but she got down the race course well. And then she ran Sands Point at Aqueduct over the mile 8th in October, where she finished fourth by six lengths that day. She was very wide, just a little bit flat. Her races in the, you know, at Colonial over the summer weren't bad at all. And her off the turf event where she landed one of the rivals was pretty impressive, winning by, uh, you know, two dozen lengths. But refreshing here, training well, runs the, has run these decent races in the past. I'll give the short shot on the pick for that begins with this race. But to recap my selection for the 7 for Monmouth, it is the Miss Liberty. Going to take the 3 horse, not in a million years. Give kudos to the five horse Alpha Bella. Nine three five seven four super three five in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five. Good luck everyone.